I just got my favorite thing in the world in the mail and it reminded me that there are <laughs> so many people in my area that don't know how to address an envelope. I'm not joking. It's like you never get mail. <laughs> Anyways, I learned how to do it in kindergarten. Apparently, no one else has. Since I work at the post office, and it drives me crazy because we get in trouble for wait times. Well, we don't really get in trouble, but we get we lose points. We lose we lose points if we have to help you fill out an envelope because it takes too long for the person behind you to get waited on. It's like three minutes. Your visit's not supposed to be any longer than three minutes at the post office. That includes shipping packages. That includes sending a letter, buying stamps, whatever you're doing, it should only take you three minutes. The clerk at the window is not supposed to help you write out the envelope, period. So, got a blank envelope. <laughs> this one's for a greeting card. I don't have any of the long ones, but they all, when you write it out, they're all the same. <laughs> so, in this corner, which will be your top left, go like this, make an L, that's your left is who it's from. We're gonna use the word Jane Doe. That's our name, right in the corner. There's street address. We're gonna use like 111 Camden seems to be a pretty popular, we'll just do 111 Camden Avenue. Right, the street address. If you get mail at a P.O. box instead of the street address, you can write your P.O. box on there. like so. And then the city. And then the state. Two initials. Like this for California. You know, if you live in a different state, whatever. And we're going to use 90210. That's a zip code everybody knows. <laughs> zip code. That's how you address it. Now, the next thing you're going to do is to, if you're writing to your grandma or your aunt, please don't write grandma or aunt. Write out their name. Let's say Sally is your grandma's name. You can put grandma in parentheses. We'll give her the last name Sue just to be silly. Like this. So you give your grandma the respect she needs, but you give the carrier the name of who your grandma is. Carriers deliver to at least 500 customers daily. Some of those customers are grandmas, some of those customers are aunts, and we don't know who your grandma or your aunt is because you may not have the same last name. So we need a name on the envelope. Okay, and then again, with the street, and the city, and the state, and the zip code. See? Like that. Now, if Grandma lives in a different country and not the USA, you're going to put that country underneath the address, like so. That's how you address an envelope. Now, postage stamps go on the opposite side on the right top corner up here. That's it. That's how you address an envelope. Whether it's this size envelope or this size envelope, you turn it this way, goes like this. That's how you address an envelope. Packages are the same. Like that. Got it? It's simple. Hopefully you know your address. Hopefully you know your address that you're sending it to. Hopefully you've got everything ready when you get up to the clerk at the window. Because in Hawaii, if you're not ready, you don't get service. Some places in small towns, if you're not ready, the clerk will help you. She's got time. But if it's a busy season, like around Christmas, or right at the beginning of summer when everybody's getting swimsuits or shipping out clothes that don't fit, or... If you live in an office in a city where there's an office that has a lot of businesses around it, like um, say your local trash company, your water companies, your newspaper companies, post offices that are really busy, 
they're not gonna wait for you to write out an envelope and they're not gonna help you write out the envelope. So make sure you have your stuff ready to go when you get up to the clerk to send it out. Have a great day.